kani le akulele. We ain't got no money, but we get nice ukulele. <laughs> Lava. <laughs> What's up, brother Joe? How you doing, brother? Uh, uh, good. Awesome. Hello, everyone. Joe Souza from Kanilea Ukulele. You're not going to believe who I'm with. Mr. Kelly Boy DeLima <laughs> from Kapena. <laughs> brother, nice to see uh, you. Good to see you too, brother. Thank you, thank you. Oh, so thank awesome. You. Thank you for making time and allowing us to talk story. About thank, you for the, thank you for the beautiful ukuleles that uh, you and all the crew down at Kanilea make. You know, I, I enjoy playing my, my ukulele and uh, the comments that people give me when they see my ukulele. Thank you for the beautiful instruments you guys build. Thank you, brother. You know, I was just curious, so I was thinking, how long have you been playing ukulele now? In fact, not only how long have you been playing, what inspired you? Well, ukulele. you know, I um, started playing the ukulele, I would say, um, during my intermediate years. And uh, I remember um, used to have the termites back when I was a kid and it was playing and the exchange, you know, the exchange goes down and the, the termites, I think, oh, I forget the ukulele group, but they really inspired me. Um, and uh, I remember going to um, um, taking a couple of ukulele lessons. Um, uh, at Roy Sakuma and um, I think the first song that they were trying to teach me was uh, the song um, Star Wars and and at that time I was really into the, to Peter Moon and you know the Hui Ohana and stuff and I never like learned Star Wars I wanted to learn Guava Jelly and Cane Fire and stuff and mm -hmm. and basically um, I ran into some local brothers down in Waikiki um, my friend James Willis and my friend David Kalai that um, uh, these guys are jamming Steer It Up, Bob Marley and he was nice. playing Guava Jelly and that <laughs> That really <clears throat> inspired me. I was in the seventh grade-ish around, and I told my dad, Dad, um, I like one ukulele. And he went down and he bought me my first ukulele and uh, changed my life. So, speaking of reggae, <laughs> right, one right. of my fondest memories growing up okay. was watching Kapen. Right at the Waikiki Shell, and bro, I was riding that oh. reggae train. <laughs> it was a beautiful. Oh, that must have thing. been one of the um, FM 100 birthday bashes or yes, something. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, and that's yeah. such a fun memory. You, <laughs> you know. know, we recorded that song, and uh, you know, it's it still till today. You know what I mean? People still do the reggae train at parties and stuff like that. And uh, um, yeah, bro, that was that was good times. The birthday bashes. Well, you know, knowing this ukulele, as far as seeing it at the shell. Where else has this ukulele gone? You know, I've taken this thing to Israel mm -hmm. on um, um, family trips. Um, I've taken this thing to oh, West Coast, East Coast, um, down to Guam, to Palau. Uh, I've been down to uh, all the Marshall Islands. I mean, you know, anywhere we perform and we go. Mm -hmm. My baby right here is always with me. Oh, awesome. Definitely. Oh, yeah. if we had one. You know, on passport for I know, Kanile. I know this thing would be <laughs> all. Would be this thing would be stamped out. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Definitely. Well, thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for sitting in and just this talk story session with Kelly Boy DeLima from Capena, Joe Souza from Kanile Ukulele. Hello, everyone. Aloha.